Welcome back. I want to start with when we talk about sketching is the concept of scale factor. This is important when you're doing structural details. So with scale factor, we're dealing with what is the relationship between the scale I'm drawing at and the physical object. And so for ex these examples, I'm going to do scale factors of 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot and inch and a half equals one foot. And these are two common scales. What I'm going to point out there when I do these is it's important to know the scale factors. So I'm going to just translate this really quick. This is three quarters of an inch equals 12 inches. And this is showing the drawn scale to the actual physical real world scale. Then we're going to also come over here and sketch these out. And if I divide both sides just to get a ratio, then that will equal 1 to 16 as a scale factor. And then, which sometimes we'll abbreviate, SF. And then the ratio on this side is just 1 to 8. And what that means is every inch drawn on paper will equal 8 inches in the real world. And every inch drawn on paper will equal 16 inches in the real physical object at 3 quarters scale. So where does that leave us? If I'm going to come over and draw a line, in this example, every four squares on the graph paper is one inch. So I'm going to draw out an inch and a half line. And as I do that, um, I can quickly see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six marks. That means each of these squares is two inches. And let's say at inch and a half scale, I would want to draw in a number eight rebar. A number eight rebar has a diameter of one inch. And so what size circle I'm going to draw at inch and a half scale? Well, that's simply going to be one eighth inch. And so I'm going to come over here and select one eighth and drawing the rebar. So what I have shown here, this could be a grade beam that is one foot wide and rebar at the lower corner of each member. If I were to come over at three-quarter inch scale and draw that same object, then going to draw it here and then I know I'm going to use a sixteenth inch diameter opening and that's going to be much smaller. I'm just going to eyeball that um, and proportion it down. So here you have two scales. You have three quarter inch scale where you see a the bottom half of a concrete beam that is one foot wide. And here you have an inch and a half scale, the concrete beam, one foot wide with two number eights in the bottom. Again, we're not suggesting that these are real structural engineering solutions. These are just of the reinforcing configuration. These are just graphical examples. And we selected a number eight simply because it was one inch diameter for these examples. But you see one foot wide with two number eights in the bottom one foot wide with two number eights at two different scales. And the, just to reiterate, the power of being able to sketch to scale is challenges to structural configuration of connections begin to be intuitively obvious when you're starting to look at a scale sketch. And there's a lot of power to be able to do this rapidly within a meeting while you're working with clients. If you're working in the metric system, it would be a very similar process. You would simply draw out your drawn scale and its equivalent physical scale and work out what your scale factor is, which is the ratio between the drawn and the physical objects. That concludes this video.